Breville's joining me today and we're going to be doing shortbreads. I haven't done shortbreads in such a long time, so I'm happy to refresh my memory as your recipe. Well, this is my favourite, favourite dessert of all time. Yeah. I love doing shortbread biscuits and it's so quick and easy and I can show you that today. Especially if you've got a nice mixer. Beautiful mixer. Okay. Why don't we get started while Great. we're talking about yep. it. We need 250 grams of butter. So you can just chop that one up. Yeah. Yeah. What's fantastic about this mixer, uh, we've got all the different beaters, we've got the whisks and the scrapers and dough hooks, but today we want to have the scraper beater on. Just throw it in, wow. it's fine. Great. If it's the butter is at room temperature, so we know it's going to beat up straight away. Uh, we have a half a cup of caster sugar, mm -hmm. so just pop that in. So with the scraper beater, as it starts to beat, it'll scrape down the sides of the bowl so we don't have to do that at all. That's great. Let's turn that on. Okay, so we've just mixed it just to get it going a little bit. Now we need one tablespoon of grated lemon rind. Okay. And we'll just add that in. Normally, this recipe would take about 10 minutes in a normal mixer because you have to lift the lid up, scrape the sides down. So we're halving the time frame to about five minutes for this one. Yeah. Makes such a difference, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll pop that in, give it another little twirl. And then what we want to do is just, on a lower speed, gradually add two and a quarter cups of plain flour. Just slowly until it's all incorporated. And once it starts to build up a little bit more, then we'll just give it one more little beat just to make sure it's all incorporated. And that's it. That's it. And look at that, nice clean edges. All right, so we're just going to put this onto the bench. Have you got a little bit yep. of um, flour? Yep. Alright, so just, just a, a touch. Just yep. a touch. You don't want too much, obviously. No. And you might out. not even, if it's a nice cool day, if you're doing this in winter, mm. you don't even need to have the flour. Okay, so just lightly knead it just to get the shape. And again, what we want to do, and if this is too much for you to work with at once, have the dough and just lightly roll it. And we're going to roll it to about a centimetre in thickness. Okay. So what I do... Do you want to get that tray for you? Yeah, just a couple of trays. So you cut just all put it in your... the flour so it just doesn't stick, mm -hmm. which is, yeah, nice. Okay, and then... <laughs> mine's a little bit littler at home, so hey, that's okay. Nice. Okay, and I then like you... that one. You won't, they won't fall apart. No, there you go. definitely not. <laughs> and then you just lift that under and just reshape them if you need to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're making the perfect circles for this one? Absolutely. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, so before they go in the oven, they need to go into the fridge for 20 minutes to firm up, and then they'll go into the oven at 150 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. Great. nicely perfect circles perfect and we've let them cool so we'll make a little lemon drizzle icing mm, to go with it okay all right so we need one cup of sifted icing sugar mm -hmm. pure icing sugar and one tablespoon of lemon juice so if you want to just squeeze that and I'm going to use a, a little bag just to be able to drizzle the icing over the top so mm, I'll show you a little that's trick a good with little that one. tip yeah Muscles. <laughs> Not much juice in that one. I need the measuring spoon, do you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so we'll just have a look. Now, you can use milk or water. It's up to you mm -hmm. for the icing. Just give that a stir. So, did you say two? One tablespoon of one lemon tablespoon juice. One tablespoon of lemon yeah. juice, yeah. And one teaspoon, approximately, of milk or water. Okay. And, I mean, if you want to have a little bit of fun at home with the kids, you can add a little bit of colouring too, couldn't you? Absolutely. Some red to make pink or yeah. blue or... Mm. OK, so just... If you want to just spoon that into the bag. Yep. So this is a great little trick, if you don't have a piping bag at home, to put it in a little bag like this. OK. Great. Sip that shut. And just snip the side. Like that. Ooh. And just start to drizzle. Great. 
But they're so quick and easy, anyone can do it. It just goes to show that just a little bit of icing can make something so simple. I know, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to place them on a nice big plate here. So, one more. Here we have it. I'll leave those there because they look quite pretty and I'm just going to eat them straight off the tray. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a try. Enjoy. Of your famous shortbread. Buttery. Mmm. Very short. That's what short. You want. <laughs> a little bit of lemon mm. really makes a difference. Yep. Yeah. 